Hey guys, welcome to the farm. So today we're going to be making chamomile tea soap and I'm just using these cotton bags to fill with my chamomile and some hot water. I let this sit until it's completely cooled and seeped and I'm going to be freezing it in an ice cube tray to be able to use in the soap. So I get that done after a couple hours and it's cooled and while it's in the freezer, I'm going to go out and give my girl goats some red raspberry leaves. These are dried, organic. It is great for pregnancy, for delivery, and also um, during the time that they're going to be um, nursing their babies. So I also get a couple little sneaks of a feel on how the babies are doing, how they're growing. <laughs> and Molly Moo here, I did get a lot of kicks from her. Now, I also have been very busy relabeling my product, and if you haven't seen the last video, I had to open an LLC, and more on that, but now let's make some soap. Okay, we're in the soap lab, ready to make soap. I'm actually gonna be making 20 pounds of soap, but I'm gonna start out with the chamomile soap because I really wanna show how you can use those, um, all those herbs that you can grow. This is the last bit of my lavender that I grew last year. And I just use a hair tie and string up the lavender and I hang this. This actually goes in our laundry room. There's a pole that goes across and I can hang it up and it's dark and it stays really dry in there. You don't don't want to use any herbs fresh um, that water will promote bacteria so you want to make sure your herbs that you're using are good and dry and the chamomile that I have infused in this um, jar here definitely been in here for probably three months there let me see if this is gonna focus better there it is much better this is olive oil and chamomile and you want to put your herbs in pour in the whatever herb you're going to use pour in your olive oil to cover and you're setting this into a pan and just letting it simmer no boiling and then once it's done you can take it out leave it closed and set it on your shelf and i have several um, already done this is chamomile just like we did the chamomile for the ice cubes now i did the ice cubes because I want to add my lye to make a chamomile tea lye solution. So I will measure these out per the weight of water that I need for the recipe. And I'm gonna check this because it seems like I'm not getting a lot of light. So I might have to adjust a little bit. Okay, these are my oils and butters, my hard oils and butters. And I'm going to put them on my double boiler to melt them down. And then we're gonna make the olive oil and castor oil portion using as much as we can of this. I think I need 27 ounces for this recipe. This is just gonna be a five pound loaf. So let's get started. Okay, so let's measure out oils of chamomile. And your oils should smell literally like olive oil or whatever oil you use and a hint of the herb that you're using. Should not smell sour or um, you know, like a bad smell at all. Okay, lovely, we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna get another bucket and put in our, how much we need for the, the tea. If you watch a lot of soaping videos, there's a lot of things out there that you can buy, but <laughs> these yogurt containers are number five and they're perfect, especially when I have a small batch of lye solution to make and that is definitely for this one. Okay, time to measure out our lye. Okay, now I'm going to add my oils and butters, I mean my oil, olive oil and, and uh, castor oil. These have got the essential oils in here. 
and ooh, it's pretty. Kaylin Clay. All right, let's blend that out. And look at this color of the chamomile tea and lye. So we're gonna add that, just mixing it. Make sure we get everything in.
check out the lather of this bar. Now I'm wearing gloves because I cut the soap at 14 hours. I use a very reduced uh, water in my soap recipe. And so I you know, just don't know if there's lye present, but look at that lather. This is such a great and gentle bar. So great to use herbs. Um, I'll link some below that you can get to make your soap, to make your tea soap. And I just love doing the infused oil and the tea in the recipe. I'll also link a how to make soap below and also watch some of these videos here for more soap making tips. God bless. Bye.